you're watching 8-bit days a week and I'm gonna be playing more PlayStation games on the PlayStation Classic via Bleem Sync and RetroArch and let's see how they run and I'm playing Mega Man X4 it's the continuation of the classic uh, series that started out in um, the Super Nintendo of course um, it's a sort of like a spin-off to the Mega Man series that started out in the NES although at some points they some theory suggests they're actually just in uh, one big timeline, kind of like uh, how the Zelda series went. But anyway, different topic for another day. Um, anyway, yeah, Mega Man X4, the classic, unessential to any 2D platformer fan. Or even if you're not a 2D platformer, if you just um, if you just like a good game, this is definitely one I can suggest. And we're in luck. It plays really great so far on the PlayStation Classic. Of course, this has been also recently released on um, other consoles as part of a Mega Man X collection series. And uh, I actually haven't tried those, so I don't have any good comparison. Um, this is uh, upscaled as well to. In, on the PlayStation Classic, it is they do upscaling to 720p. So that's worth mentioning, I guess. And um, it looks great. The graphics have um, aged well, despite being a old uh, and from the 32-bit era. Whereas most of the games during that time have um, haven't aged well. It most of them look terrible blurry grainy but that's mostly because of the 3d graphics and this one being most of it at least being on 2d hand-drawn it looks great still looks great Coming up with our first boss. This isn't a robot master though. And yeah, this is Mega Man X4. Everything plays great. The controls feel well. There is no, at least, game-breaking uh, lag. It's responsive, and uh, the screen it scrolls beautifully. There's no screen tearing that I can see, at least. So you know, you know, apologies if there is. I don't see it. I don't feel it. So it's great. And all right, let's go ahead and move over to the next game of the series. Let's see how it runs. And I suppose uh, we shouldn't have any problems with it as well, as they're mostly the same anyway. It's, this is Mega Man X5. Unfortunately, 
many believe this is where the game started going uh, downhill. Easy, extreme. Well, what, are, what, what are the differences even? And uh, it's that um, the game design itself. Uh, had a lot of problems actually and here we go with an introduction that um, I wish I could skip and uh, very generic static images with uh, simple dialogue I guess all right here we go Okay, finally. Of course, as expected, everything still played. Ugh. I was about to say plays great before I was interrupted by that. And uh, the thing about it is that I think that happens a lot. see any I don't see any problems um, regarding the game at least it's running well on the PlayStation classic compared to X4 though what? Ugh. anyway I would have died from the boss if I didn't die here. Okay, here we go. First boss battle, which feels like an end battle. Because it's gonna be Sigma himself again. A big head. Maybe I should set it to extreme next time. Anyway. Aliyah and Cygnus, I don't actually remember them in X4. They just came out of nowhere. All of a sudden you have a support group here. Because I remember Iris and Double. And uh, of course, something happened. And uh, all of a sudden, we got these guys. Anyway. Let's uh, have enough of this. Let's go ahead and try the next game of the series if the console will let me you've probably seen on my other videos that from time to time it would just uh, give me a black screen it would hang up and uh, all right this is Mega Man X6 probably the worst game in the Mega Man X series
And yeah, I always put my dash on the shoulder button. Alright, can I actually make this fast? No? Okay. Alright. Some voice acting. Anyway, this game felt like um, it was rushed during the time it was released and uh, I remember I was uh, really surprised that uh, there was already a 6 when uh, feels like X5 just came out like I'm not even done yet and it's, it's uh, unfortunate that um, the way X handles the saber isn't as uh, smooth as you want as zero, which I feel like they could have avoided. Could have made him into a rolled up X and zero character into one, but no, they had to make X worse when it comes to the Z saber. from this one and uh, stick to X4 and 5 even for hardcore Mega Man X fans this game is kind of hard to play through it's just uh, isn't all that great So I would say X4 is essential to your collection, X5 if you like platforms, platformers and Mega Man X in general, and X6, mm, save your space for something else. It's a lot of uh, games on the PlayStation. And Unless you have one of those huge USB drives. And the thing about it is that it only uses USB 2.0 drives, so far at least. USB 3 and above doesn't work. This has been the sequel trilogy of the Mega Man X on PlayStation Classic. Now, the three games have varying uh, levels of quality, I guess. But when it comes to when it, if it actually runs, yeah, they all play. They all run great. The controls are responsive, no video problems, like there's no uh, screen tearing. There's no game breaking lag. Uh, you wouldn't really feel any lag. Oh, that guy looks like something out of Astro Boy. The music is great as ever. 
And uh, all right, I guess that's it for uh, this video. You're watching 8 bit days a week. This has been the Mega Man X uh, sequel trilogy on the PlayStation Classic. And please do like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, catch me more in the future for more PlayStation games running on the PlayStation Classic as we test them out. Thanks for watching.